Hello, welcome back. Um, sorry it's been such a long time since I last made, since I made my last one, but um, I'm going to create the next one now. So this is to create p um, connect.php file. So create a new PHP file in Dreamweaver or your text editor. And um, this is a really simple uh, method. To connect to your database, um, there is a more complex method, which is um, MySQL I, which uses object orientated, which is object orientated, and I'm not going to teach you how to use that because it's quite complex, and this is meant I'm keeping this as basic as I can. Um, As you'd notice, I've put um, my or die my my uh, my SQL error, and what that'll do is, if it doesn't connect to that, say you have a password which is one two three four five six, then, and um, you didn't enter that and you just had a blank which is the default, then, or it wouldn't work. So it would look at the or, it will kill it by using die, and it'll print out the my SQL error. And kill the script. If it does, if it does have that um, information, it'll pass on to the next line, which is uh, select DB, uh, select DB, which is database, and I'm just going to place that line there as well. Now, what you may notice is that on this page, um, you have the MySQL errors twice. Now you could change that to being something like. Um, oh, actually, I'm not going to go into that. It's too complicated. Um, no, uh, don't matter. Um, now I did mention that it's going to be a really short tutorial in the last video, which was part four. This is part five. So um, I kept my word. That's that all done. Save it. Desktop. Tutorials, cart, include, and connect.php. Now let's just check that that's right. Include slash connect.php. Connect.php, that's right. Refresh this page. Unknown database tutorial. Okay. Localhost slash php. I add my admin. Root. Logged in. Tutorials. Ah, okay, that works. So now you see what that I wrote did there. If I get rid of this or die, and save it as that, it'll just have an error. So now you can see there how that's a um, problem. I'll just close that bit. Um, however, if I change that to being tutorials. Hmm, that should have got rid of that. Oh, I get what's happened, sorry. Um, that didn't actually create, um, stop the code from running because I'm not using anything for the database yet. Um, so what it would have done is if I needed something from the database, it wouldn't have returned anything. What's happening now is because we haven't created the products.php page, which we'll do in a minute. Um, so yeah, just make sure that's tutorials. Once that's all fine, you can get rid of this because if you were to receive an error, it would it tells your um it tells somebody who might want to try and hack into your website a bit of information about your website. For example, if I change this to just being root one, save that, refresh. problem. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There we go. MySQL error. It gets access denied for root one at localhost. So it's telling you the. It's telling them the actual username of your 
um, MySQL database and it's telling you the host which you use which is mostly um, localhost anyway so that's understandable and a password as yes so it tells you so it knows that it's got a password that's not very helpful for it but it knows the username which will be a very useful for somebody who wants to hack into your website and it's also it also um, well yeah it's not secure so save it without them as soon as you know that it works and you're in here again okay in the next tutorial I will be covering how to well what to do in the products.php page so I know we've only written two lines of code here but yeah sorry about that so make sure you save that file and I'll see you in the next tutorial.